it's one of those batting cards that you look at and you wonder why the batsmen got, got out all of them got starts Sanjay Banga has been there from the very beginning but have a look at that Sewak 35 Raul Dravid well he only got 14 unfortunate to be given out LBW Sachin and Luka 36 from 65 deliveries as well so of Ganguly 29 from 44 they have all spent a bit of time at the crease absolutely nothing wrong with this pitch but they haven't been unable to carry on yes Mikey I feel that is that was frustration for uh, a couple of them to try and score some runs quickly and I think that is where it's very important that the Indian think tank talks to Sanjay Bangar and tells him to get busy and try and score some runs if he can't get boundaries keep rotating the strike because he's on 44 now and he's been very very slow he's got to come off the handbrakes straight back down the ground again not the best fielding in the world from Jermaine Lawson Cameron Coffey tidying up you will find that that happening around when you're sliding around on these dry out fields no great effort there at all from Latchman no real follow through with the bat just timing it out of the middle straight back down the ground Mikey gets it most of the time uh, in the sweetest part of the blade BBS Lakshman well, that was Lawson who misfielded that time that's missing leg it's 178 for four whatever you buy online do it faster They certainly love their cricket in this part of the world. Come on, it's ready, it's ready. Raul Jabud, Marinda Sewag, Sarav Gangugli, Sachin Tendulka. All a story to be told by those batsmen. Unfortunately, they won't be getting any more runs in this innings. Three of the names, Mikey, that you just took have an average of more than 15 Test match cricket. Sachin Tendulkar, Virendra Sehwag, Rahul Dravid. Normally on this ground, there are a hundred thousand people watching the game, but in this test match, that's a surprise. Now, those are the stands that have nobody there. Ball of but uh, whenever Mikey and I have played here, they have been not less than a hundred thousand. I remember that game that uh, the West Indies won against the Indians in three and a half days, there were more than 110,000 people. Yeah. End of the over, 179 for four.
Ten goal up. Right on more. Not a bad run rate that at all for India. 3.2 runs per over. Acceptable run rate of three runs per over at test match level. Well, you'd said it earlier on, Manny, that Mervyn Dinundin looked to be giving up his best. Jermaine Lawson has replaced him. That's the best thing to do. That's a good move from skipper Hooper because the youngster would love to give him his best. He's got one for 36, Jermaine Lawson. He's been very impressive. What a lovely run-up he's got. Very smooth, rhythmic. He's got a chest on action, but uh, very rhythmic. And this is what the West Indians need. Bowlers like Lawson, Powell, who can bowl at around 145 Ks per hour. Play bowlers like Lawson and uh, Powell with Merville, and they learn a lot. Now, look at that approach very aggressive. The head, if it comes a little straighter, he could be more effective. Well, Mike, he's had a good laugh at me, <laughs> me describing the fast bowler's action with him sitting with me. No money, you're going okay, you're going very well. No. Young fast bowlers learning their craft here in India. Certainly won't be getting too much assistance from the pitches. They'll have to do it all themselves. Great place to learn. Second time now he has about to run up Jermaine Lawson. And that's the correct thing to do. If you have missed your step, if it isn't quite right, stop. Walk back and start all over again. No point you just running in and overstepping. But Manny, someone like you coming from three steps, you wouldn't have missed your run-up too often. Well, I didn't miss the run-up, but I bowled a couple of no-balls in my career, and I now realize a spinner bowling a no-ball, what a shame that is. Coming from five steps and bowling a no ball. But I agree with you when you said that uh, if you don't get your rhythm right, if you, uh, if you think that you have missed your steps, you should stop because either you'll bowl a no ball or you're going to give a delivery where the batsman can score runs. So that's the right approach, right thing to do. We saw Lawson doing that twice in this over. During the tea interval, a few people would have heard the interview done with Viv Richards, the chairman of selectors, talking about fast bowlers learning their craft in India. Not a bad place to learn, man, because you're not going to be getting any assistance. It's all up to you. You're not getting fast, bouncy pitches where you can just run in and rely on just pace alone. If you put the ball in a run spot here in India, you'll get carted. Yes, a fast bowler has to put in a lot of effort on surfaces like this. When playing in weather like that as well, it's pretty humid, hot. It's better here in Kolkata than in the first two test matches. But then, yes, this is a learning curve and uh, not a bad place to start. You learn, you can really learn quickly here. We've seen uh, Lawson, when he started off, he was bowling a little short, but he's learned to bowl, pitch the ball up and let it swing. Good shot again, just over pitching up there a bit, Jermaine lost onto the pads. Cameron Coffey doing the fielding, two runs, it's 181 for four. BT together se sirf 18 pachas prathi maa chukane se, jisme lime lentil bhi shamil hai. Ab shaam aur weekend ki UK calls bilkul muft me kar sakte hai. Russian. That's right. Now 
very good player of spin bowling, BBS Latchman. That's four. Much too short. And thank you very much, says VDS Lakshman. Just carted it away to the mid-wicket fence. He is a very, very good player of spin bowling, VVS Lakshman. You mm. wouldn't miss that. No way. I think Weaver Hines would have been very happy. And a half a second after the shot was played when he realized he wasn't feeling any pain. The eighth over being bowled by the West Indies, not the quickest over rate in the world. 12 and a half overs per hour, their rate at the moment. Probably that's why we've seen Carl Hooper get on his spinners. He's bowling himself so that they can get on with the overs quickly. They're a long way shot. Around eight overs shot at this stage. That's very slow over it. 12.3 overs per hour. Well bowled. It's 185 for four. The West Indians moving quickly on the field. They realize that uh, 90 overs have to be bowled in the day. The game can be extended by an hour if they don't bowl their 90 overs of the day still another 32 to go the four fast bowlers being employed by the West Indies would not enhance their over rate. Perhaps at tea time the match referee Mike Proctor just went downstairs and had a word with the captain just to let them know how far they were behind. Just need to improve their over rate just a touch. Proctor doesn't want to be finding anyone but if he has to he will. There he is. Mikey has handled things pretty well. I mean, uh, there's been no complaints in this series so far. What I've seen of him is that uh, he doesn't like to punish people too much. But he loves to speak to them, tell them what's happening on the ground. And I think that's the right approach. Uh, we saw some of the match referees uh, in the past years. They were so happy to penalize the player, which I thought was going a little haywire. I think Brock is doing a good job. And I think some people just like power. Money and when they get that power, they have to show that they've got it. That's a good shot again. We haven't seen too many recently from Sanjay Baran. That has brought up his half century. That's his third 50 in Test Match Cricket, Sanjay Banga. He'll be a happy man. Though he's been a little slow. But the crowd has enjoyed the 50 that he's got. That was a lovely stroke. For a moment, I thought it was VVS Lecture who played the stroke. Full credit to Sanjay Banga. He's done a good job. The job assigned to him. He's done it thoroughly. His captain, while at the crease with him, did have a few words with him. It seemed as if he was getting a bit frustrated at times. Seven boundaries.
12 runs down in that third man region again for Sanjay Banga. But the boundaries have pretty much come all around the ground. In the air, but wide of the man at square leg, and that's another four. It's 193 for four. Oh, ma, kaam ke baad ladkiyan ghar. No sixes yet in this innings for India. Carlos was certainly willing to give the ball a bit of flight. Carl realizing that uh, Vivius Lakshman plays uh, his strokes. Inviting him on the first delivery, flighting the ball. Very capable bowler, Carl Hooper. partnership between Banga and Lachman have scored fairly freely 29 runs they have put together now just 48 balls yes and I think this partnership uh, will get a little quicker now as Sanjay Banga has gone gone on to get his 50 49 runs partnership between Banga and Sehwag 49 between Bangar and Ganguly. There's not uh, been much partnerships, uh, big partnerships for the Indians. That's where they have been missing out. Batsmen getting starts and not carrying on. Short and pulled away. That's 198 for four. Things certainly have picked up for India after Litti. 3.88 runs per over. Very good rate that in test matches. Jermaine Lawson continues in the commentary box to continue the commentary. Ian Bishop is with Rabbi Shastri. Thank you, Michael. Sanjay Bangar just uh, stepping on the gas since the... He's moved on to 59 and already 33 runs have come in half an hour since deep. So the scoring rate has improved. Lovely shot. Now that has class written all over it. problems for Kyle Hooper at the moment run starting to flow this wasn't that bad a delivery he was struck on the up it wasn't a half volley I promise you his sense of timing is so rich doesn't always move his feet all that well VBS Laxman but he times it very well 
Well, those were some of the kind of shots he played in that uh, innings of 281. One thing with Lakshman is not an easy batsman to contain. No matter what the situation, he will play shots, and especially on a surface like this. This is uh, right up his street, this kind of surface. A little bit on the slower side. He's a very risky player. That 281 he scored against Australia. It was absolutely brilliant over a year and a half ago. And that has really bumped his average up on this ground. He'll enjoy remembering those figures. It's a very good feeling when you walk onto the park, a park on which you've been successful in the past. Way above his career average, his average here at this ground. That's his career average of 41. This time, not finding the gap. And what he is doing along with Sanjay Banga at the moment, this partnership is taking the little impetus that the West Indies gathered by taking two wickets between lunch and tea. He's taking that away from the West Indies. He's taking the initiative away and very quickly as well. Yes, he's a good batsman to bat with. You can ask anyone in the top order and they'll say they'll... Uh, We'd love to have someone like Lakshman because he's wristy, he rotates the strike. The scoreboard sticking along. 202 for four. It's the cool one. Royal's creamy Ras Malai. Fresh, pure, and wholesome. Flavored with saffron. So delicious, so smooth, that one is thirty seven runs have come in quick time. India now past the two hundred run mark. Darren Powell being brought back. Two spells for him before this. Eight overs for 32. And he's come back at an important juncture in this test match. Well, certainly from the West Indies point of view. From India's point of view as well. Because they won't want to lose a wicket at this stage. They'll want this partnership to continue building... And you've got a team at 165 for four. And then one more wicket certainly brings in Pati Patel and the rest of the lower order batting. And this young man has a responsibility now because Dylan did not look all that, well, I suppose fit in his previous couple of spells. And just seeing as all conjecture not to be at full throttle for some reason. And he's the leader of this bowling attack, Mervyn Dylan. Both three overs after T and is resigned to the outfield. And the West Indies badly need a wicket at this stage. It's been hard work, it's been good work for the most part from the West Indian bowlers today. You'll find that this ball is now 61 overs old, it's a little softer. Moving Dylan just moving around the outfield. His body language is not that great at the moment. His shoulders are dropped. Cameron Coffey has not picked up a wicket yet. The only one of the quartet, fast bowling quartet, not to do so.
just the two slips in place no gully you can see now the ball just holding up a bit it's not coming through as well as it did when it was hard and new and that's why the adjustment has to be made when you're playing your shots you have to play a lot later and it's a spongy slow type of bounce It's at these stages in test match cricket, these defining moments where one wicket can turn as a game, a situation, or maybe a partnership of 50 will do the same. And it's the mental strength, the character. That's the battle. Who is stronger, mentally stronger, to drive themselves, sense that this is a defining moment, and cut their way through that. Will it be Powell? Will it be Laxman? Will it be Banger? The next 15 or 20 minutes is absolutely crucial in this day's play. Nice feeling for that. 2 or 3 for 4. Two or three for four. Well, the crowd has uh, filled up as the day has progressed. for the wrist and the timing is exquisite yeah these two are taking the game away from the West Indies the crowd knows it Sanjay Banger has stepped up a gear since T he's taking that from middle and off stump just hit with the angle it was always coming in from Lawson this is such a good track uh, these shots can be played the bounce is true up and the last couple of pitches that we've seen in this test series well they must have had a chat during the tea break and uh, John Wright the captain may have said that just don't get bogged down try and be on the lookout for the ones and twos the bad ball will come and it's been a difference with his batting he was 41 at T he's quickly moved on to 64 the good thing he's not thrown it away he's concentrated hard a lot of Indian batsmen have got starts but not converted yeah and that last boundary just emphasizes your point Ravi that's the type of delivery that he would have played defensively before T so he has the shots in his armory he has to learn I suppose over a period of time to play his game play each ball on its merit back himself and that does come with experience but he certainly found the right gear here after T. India to make a big score in the first innings is Harbhajan Singh 
The ball will turn here, but it'll be on the slower side. The last time he played here, he picked up 13 wickets against the Aussies. Again, runs on the onside. Second boundary of the over for Banga. And I think Hooper might just think of getting rid of the gully now and just strengthening the onside field. Well, that was too full and slanted in. That was easy for Sanjay Banga. Jermaine Loss not getting this length right at all. Well, now an alteration in the field. You can see a much more defensive field. No gully now. It comes into the onside. I think it's a good move by Hooper. Just strengthening the onside field. Man drops back to third man as well. So just one slip in place. Two hundred and eleven for four. Download videos and tracks from your favorite artists. <laughs> Keep up to date with your favorite teams. Still to come, Patel, Harbhajan Singh, Kumble, Srinath, Nera. So this is uh, really the last recognized batting pair as far as the Indians are concerned. And so far they've added 46 in a pretty good time. not quite timed it but he'll still pick up two Lakshman Not much pace in this wicket now. You see the amount of time Lakshman has here. He can literally change his shot. It's the variations in pace at this point in time that can also be very helpful if the ball isn't coming off as at a true pace consistently and a reduction in pace occasionally this rolls rolling the fingers across the ball as he tried on that last delivery uh, definitely a slower delivery that can also be quite useful it's not a very defensive feel quite rightly so put in place by Carl Hooper He's trying to stem the flow of runs, which is a problem at the moment.
to 14 for four. Well, those are the photographs you get to see in your early morning newspapers. It's a tough job, and they do a good job. I was out there this morning, and they were having problems in uh, getting the seating organized, but everything seems to have settled. See one of our co-commentators, uh, Sanjay Manjaka, there with the secretary of the Mumbai Cricket Association. He also happens to be the observer here for this test match. Professor Ratnakar Shetty has been manager of the Indian team too in the past. Cameron Coffey back. The only one of the West Indian seamers not have picked up a wicket yet. And he'll be looking to rectify that in the absence of well, any potency from Dylan. Lawson and Powell unable to make the breakthrough. He has to step up big time. Forty-nine runs in this partnership already between Banger and Laxman. And it's come off 77 balls. Very, very handy partnership restored. The advantage in favor of India for the moment just looked a little bit dicey when Saurav Ganguly was out just before T. He's got a very good head. Sanjay Banger played another very important innings. So the 50 run partnership comes up with that single. And it's come at a handy time for the Indians. get the feeling when you look at this West Indian attack I think this is where they, they lack the firepower I think it must have been a tough call to keep Kaffee in the side or play another spinner I just get personally the feeling that they might have been better off with the spinner just to lend a little more variety they've got the firepower in the form of Lawson, Powell and Dylan. And don't forget this pitch will get slow as the game progresses and uh, there will be some turn on offer. That's gone away fine and into the boundary. Again drifting onto the pads and he's paid the price for it. 219 for four. Sanjay Bangar, he's uh, moved along nicely to 72. He's played uh, particularly well since the He's found the boundaries, the scoreboard's moved along. Morgan Dillon just leaving the field. And Darren Powell will continue.
Well, it's the pace at which Mervyn Dillon left the field that should worry Carl Hooper because he was moving very, very slowly. He didn't seem in any great hurry to get off so that he could return as quickly as possible. And that's not a good sign from the West Indies' point of view. And Laxman will be happy. And so will Banger because Dillon is the one bowler that has been consistent throughout the series. And now they've got these young guys to battle against. Superb timing. That just seemed to be a gentle push. Great outfield. He just touched this. And just look at it travel. It's a wonderful outfield here at Eden Gardens. Very lush. Very, very quick. It's a top shot from Laxman. Yes, he uses the crease well too. It's right back when he played that shot. And you look back to the test in Chennai as well. And the West Indies, well, had India in a little bit of trouble. And then the tail wagged. Srinath, Kumble, Harbhajan all scored runs. And it propelled India to a big total. In the West Indies, Laxman did this over and over. Coming in at number six. And scoring 30 or 40, 50 or 60. Putting on good partnerships with the lower order. And once again... He's found it to his liking. India just seem to have had that ability over the last 12 months to know how to dig themselves out of situations, whether they're in the field or with the bat. And the West Indies, well, by and large, have found problems with the middle to lower order. The second test match card 23 to Patel, 37 Abajan, 39 Srinath, Kumble 12 not out. Two, two, three for four. Two twenty-three for four. And uh, Sanjay Bangar is holding this Indian innings together. Good stop. He's done a good job there, Vivul Hines. We mentioned earlier, this is such a quick outfield. Once the ball beats the infield, there's no point chasing.
West Indies at the moment, just behind the over it. 23 overs still remaining after this, so the lights will come on if play is extended. Don't forget we are in the eastern part of the country, so the sun does set pretty quickly here. It's pitch dark by 6, 6.30. It's a better line from Cameron Cuffey. Uh, we were playing golf yesterday, myself, Danny Morrison, and our director, Gavin Scovell. And it's amazing how quickly the light fades from 4.30 onwards. And even though the lights may come on, this red ball is not always easy to pick up. Even when the lights come on. And that's going to be a big factor in this day's play as well. 225 for four. It's the cool one. Royals Creamy Ras Malai. Fresh, pure and... ...for India. 60 runs coming off just 93 balls. Sanjay Bangar hitting a purple patch in this partnership with VVS Lakshman. Darren Power reintroduced. And VVS Lakshman who's always enjoyed playing here at the Eden Garden, playing another beautiful innings. 24, including four boundaries. Just the one slip now for VVS Lakshman. West Indies right on top at the stroke of T when they got Saurav Ganguly. That 15 minutes after the break was going to be crucial, wasn't it, Danny? It certainly was, Sanjay. And you just get this ominous little feeling about Vivius Lakshman at the crease. And we all keep going back to that marvellous test match here early last year with Australia. And Sanjay Bunga playing superbly. Uh, these two right-handers, as Ravi Shastri mentioned, they've put on 60 from just over 90 balls. And, uh, they were going along quite nicely, playing the strokes. And I think their shot selection and timing of when to play the shots really impressed me. Because uh, there was that time, as you say, Sanj, a little bit of indifference uh, after T, the fall of the skipper. And uh, it was all on, 165 for four at that stage. And the West Indies would have felt like uh, they had a good opportunity. They still have a good opportunity, provided they, uh, well, get a double break breakthrough here would be ideal. Knock over Banga, and then if they can, shortly after that, get rid of VVS Laxman, because he uh, does love it here, doesn't he, VVS? And very difficult to keep him quiet, VVS Laxman, and this is a lightning quick outfield, and he's just the batsman who will exploit it likes to play along the ground, has the whole range as a batsman. At the moment, the defensive line for the West Indians is uh, quite a distance outside the off zone to VVS Lakshman. We've had a few problems at this end. Sachin Tendulkar had a few. It's the clubhouse end where the side screen is. He was a little grumpy, and wouldn't you be with those pink shorts? What about Cameron, Ryle Stewart? What's he doing with those on? We've got some colourful characters around the ground who come to watch cricket, but our cameraman here from Barbados all the way, look at him. Ryle Stewart, he's on fire. Absolutely tremendous. See, he's had a break in Sri Lanka, went to Colombo, had a ball. And what about you? Now, look, we've gone on about me and Port Blair and the Andamans. I mean, mate, you're from Mumbai, Bollywood country. I mean, what did you get up to? A bit of mischief? Mischief? My children did that for me. I was with my family putting my kids to sleep at night and Ryle Stewart there <laughs> he's got to work on his combination tomorrow 
pink shorts and a white t-shirt. I loved your white t-shirt this morning. Your trousers are pretty okay. I can tell you for people who don't know Ryle Stewart too much, he loves the game of chess. Big fan of indoor sport. He just loves them. So obviously, Ryle Stewart has no clue what's required for outdoor sports. 2.25 for four. It seems like the West Indies have somehow resigned to the fate that this partnership is uh, getting a little difficult to dislodge. So at the moment, just concentrating on keeping the runs down. Floodgates open for Sanjay Banga, post tee. Really struggled to get the ball off the square. But after that, after the tee break... The boundary started to come, which further dented the hopes of the West Indians. Well, so often the case with Test Match Cricket, you get this period where the batting side consolidate a bit and the skipper of the fielding side, and we'll just have to think about it. Now, local time here, coming up, well, it's about 20 to 4. And the light's just starting to come on here. Just... Uh, Starting to fade the lights in here at Eden Gardens. Carl Hooper with only the slip and posed. And as you say, Sanjay, just that little holding pattern. Just trying to pull the reins in of the Indian batters. Bunga and Lakshman. Just play this little cat and mouse game. Bit of patience. And uh, we know how Indian batsmen, they love to go after the bowling. Especially in conditions that suit. These do. Good surface to bat on. Just coming on just enough. This is a good channel, and he's got the right man on in a way, because for me, Cameron Cuffey is more of a containing bowler. Probably play a bit more in the one day. As he played in the first test, and he just bowls that nice little containing line in length. But as you can see, it's just getting a little bit murky out the back here, Sanjay. Listen, part of the country, that's where we are, the city of Kolkata, where light is always a problem towards the end of a test match day's play. We have the use of lights and they can be used and play can be extended for a maximum of one hour after scheduled close of play, which is 4.30. So play can continue if the artificial lights are going to be enough, which I doubt very much. But play can continue till 5.30. Still about 21 hours to go. 3.41, the local time. Two twenty five for four. four. Had a rollicking start to the test match in the first session. Ninety eight runs were scored in the first two hours. The second session which was post-line, 67 runs were scored. Two wickets were also lost. It's edged and wide enough for the first lift and fine enough for third man. Therein lies the difficulty for Carl Hooper. He's only got the one slip in because of this partnership mounting. Now the length is full and induced the false stroke, the outside edge and even though it perhaps wouldn't have carried frustration for the bowler 
Again, an Indian batsman reaching to play that shot because the line has been outside the off stump, quite a distance outside the off stump. That has been the stock line, which is very much a defensive line. Worked for Tendulkar. That's how they got him out, got it first lip. 229 for four is the Indian score. Good time to just have a recap of what's happened so far and how the wickets fell. Virinder Sehwag was the first to go. Well, a little bit of margin of doubt with this one again, but it's Ahsoka to Silva. And we know he likes to give them. And he's decided, gets the nod out, and Merv Dillon, pretty happy. Another leg before decision, the second wicket that the West Indians picked up was that of Rahul Dravid. He was gone for 14. And another one of these inside edges. It really has been a series for them. Not, dif not a difficult decision at times, but then when you think about the crowd that's here for David Shepard, that is the problem here at Eden Gardens. Now it's, it's a good, healthy little nick, but it's close to the pads. As is this, and this gets through the gap. Too close into the pads here, pal. And Lakshan makes him pay. Hint of swing for the young man, but just finishing where you don't want to, especially to VVS Lakshman on middle and leg. You can see that just angling in and helped on its way, really, by VVS Lakshman with some strong wrist behind it. It's a glorious boundary there. Sachin Tendulkar was the big wicket to fall after that. White ball and uh, trying to just push it through the covers. And Chris Gale taking the catch at first slip. Again, similar shot. But squarer this time. And the outfield is quick. He'll get three comfortably. Almost four. 236 for four. Great timing on that occasion by Vivius Lakshman. It's a green carpet on a very hard base, so the ball really travels clean. Wavel Hines. Two hundred and thirty six for four. David Shepard just confirming that stop. It was a clean one. Conveyed that to the scorers.